How's it going guys? This is Manny the Phenom back at you with another coloring video. Just showing my process of high color and what I'm thinking. This was a Green Lantern drawing done by an artist named Murad Rajim on Instagram. I'll put his name up on the board here on the screen. What I've been doing lately on Instagram is finding black and white drawings good drawings that I like that I can color because I have a dream if you want to call it or, or want to get in the comic book industry and I want to color because that's the thing that's the easiest thing for me when it comes to either inking penciling or coloring coloring seems to be the one that I'm most comfortable with so I'm trying to get better coloring at coloring but also I'm taking I'm taking drawings from these popular artists coloring their work to show them what I can do in case by any chance they need a colorist in the future they like my work and uh, they want to hire me for whatever uh, for whatever reason or that position opens or whatever I just want to be on their radar so that's my thought process on why I'm doing why I'm coloring people's drawings one I'm, I'm learning how to color and I'm getting better at it and but also I want to get on people's radar With this piece, I tried to make uh, mo make things mostly green. This the suit's green, the shadows. I'm gonna do dark green. Even the whites is a is a light green. The gloves are a light green. I try to keep everything green. Where I messed up was not now that I'm. I, I did the drawing like three weeks ago. So now that I'm looking at it, I wish I would have done the skin tone and the hair more greenish. I, I guess I've got a little more experience since then and. I should have added more green to the skin, especially at the end of the piece, you're going to see that I add a, a strong glow coming from the ring. So I really should have made that skin more green and, and along with the hair. Every piece is experimental in the sense that you're just, I'm figuring it out as I go where shadows should go. He does a great job of guiding me with, with his line work and where shadows will be where, where I should put them but as a colorist I can I can make things recede or or pop out more depending on the shadow and the light I do how, how much do I want that muscle to pop and 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 look all sexy he, he gives me a great guide but there's more I can add to this piece I didn't do any anything too crazy when it comes to like my my last video I was experimenting with watercolor. This one I, I stuck to with what I knew because I wanted this to look real real comic booky. So I used like solid color, soft brush, uh, so, soft and hard edges. But I just used the right basic Photoshop brush. I didn't use any fancy brushes. Here comes the glow. This is the the fun part of the drawing towards the end when you can add the special effects. So the glow around his body, and then I'm gonna go and add it to the ring. That's his signature right there, RM. And when I make this glow with the ring, I'm trying to figure it out. Again, what do I wanna do? I tried that out, didn't really like it. Then I went for just a circle. This is me experimenting with different color layers, how, how it's gonna look. But this is pretty much the final product here. I should have added more, more of a glow to his face. But live and learn. 
But anyways, thanks for thanks guys for watching. Hope you learned something. Please leave a comment what you thought, what kind of videos you want to see in the future. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Thank you. Feeling I'm out.